Hallelujah! Christ our Passover has been sacrificed for us. Therefore let us keep the feast, not with the old leaven, the leaven of malice and evil, but with the unleavened bread of sincerity and truth. Alleluia. These verses pulled from Paul's first letter to the Corinthians are said in part every week in Eucharistic worship, right as we break the bread that is about to be served for communion. And these words encapsulate in just a few short sentences the crux of the amazing pattern of death and resurrection that Jesus Christ offers to us once for all in his own passion, death and resurrection, and then over and over again for all eternity in the form of his spirit given to us. And it gives us a calling, and the calling is spelled out right there in the scripture. Every day we are to examine where in our lives, in our hearts, in our world, do the lies, the malice, and the evil lurk, and we're to let them die, perhaps even actively kill them. And after that, we are to watch as what rises to life from those dead ashes is something beautiful, the unleavened bread of sincerity and truth. And so specifically, we are to ask ourselves, where are we speaking or allowing to be spoken the untruths? Where are we omitting the relevant and important truths? Where are we exaggerating or understating for the purpose of manipulating a result that might be different from what the naked truth would get us? Do we dare to let that die? Do we dare to stop doing it and watch pure sincerity and truth rise in its place? Do we dare trust Jesus' promise that even though that sincerity and truth can come with pain and with a heavy cost, ultimately it will make us free. It will make us the free and gloriously joyful and happy people we were made by God to be.